ever wondered how to calibrate an oxygen analyzer? Well, you're in the right place. Oxygen analyzers are crucial tools used across a wide range of industries, from healthcare to environmental monitoring, and even in the production of high-quality steel. They offer a precise measurement of oxygen levels, ensuring safe and efficient operations in various settings. But here's the thing, like any precision instrument, an oxygen analyzer needs regular calibration to maintain its accuracy. Calibration is a process that verifies the analyzer's measurements against a known standard, ensuring that it can provide reliable and accurate readings. So, how do we go about calibrating an oxygen analyzer? Well, it's not as complicated as it might seem and we're going to walk through the entire process in this video. We'll show you how to understand the calibration process, how to perform the calibration and how to verify the results. By the end of this video, you'll know all the steps to calibrate an oxygen analyzer. Calibration is a critical process that ensures the accuracy of an oxygen analyzer. Now you might be wondering, what exactly does calibration mean? Well, in the simplest terms, calibration is the process of setting or correcting a measuring device. In this case, we're talking about an oxygen analyzer. Let's think about it this way. Your oxygen analyzer is like a talented musician. It can hit all the right notes, but to create beautiful music, it needs to be in tune. Calibration is the process of tuning your oxygen analyzer, ensuring it measures oxygen levels with precision and accuracy. So why is calibration necessary? Picture this. You're an engineer working in an environment where the oxygen level is crucial. You're depending on an oxygen analyzer to ensure safety or maintain the efficiency of a process. If the device provides inaccurate readings, it could lead to serious consequences. Hence, calibration is not just necessary, it's vital. Now, let's talk about the general steps involved in calibration. First, the device is set to a known control standard. This is a reference point that we know is accurate. Then, the reading of the oxygen analyzer is compared to this control standard. If there's a discrepancy, the device is adjusted until it matches the control standard. This process is repeated until the device consistently gives accurate readings. At this point, it's important to introduce the two types of calibration. Zero calibration and span calibration. Zero calibration is when the device is calibrated to zero using nitrogen gas. This sets the baseline for the device. On the other hand, span calibration is where the device is calibrated using a gas of a known oxygen concentration. This sets the range for the device. So in a nutshell, calibration is the process of ensuring your oxygen analyzer gives accurate readings by comparing it to a control standard and making necessary adjustments. It's like tuning an instrument, ensuring it hits the right notes every time. Now that we understand what calibration is, let's delve into the steps involved. The first step in calibrating an oxygen analyzer is to perform a zero calibration. Diving straight into it, a zero calibration is essentially setting the baseline for your oxygen analyzer. This is a crucial step because it ensures that your device is accurately reading the absence of oxygen. For this, we use a substance with no oxygen, in our case nitrogen gas. So how do we proceed? Well, start by connecting a nitrogen gas cylinder to your oxygen analyzer. You could use a regulator to control the flow of nitrogen gas into the analyzer. Ensure that there's a good seal between the gas cylinder and the analyzer to prevent any air from sneaking in. Once everything is connected and sealed, open the valve of the nitrogen gas cylinder. You'll want to let the nitrogen flow through the analyzer for a good 5 minutes. This is what we call flushing. It helps to remove any residual oxygen that might be hanging around inside the analyzer. Now, while the nitrogen is flowing, it's time to adjust the analyzer. Look for a knob or a button labeled zero. This is what you'll use to set the analyzer to zero. As the nitrogen flows, you should see the reading on the analyzer start to drop. Once it hits zero, gently adjust the zero knob until the reading stabilizes at zero. Remember, patience is key here. You might have to wait a little while for the reading to stabilize and that's perfectly normal. It's important not to rush this step as getting an accurate zero calibration is crucial for the rest of the calibration process. Once the reading is steady at zero, close the valve on the nitrogen gas cylinder. 
Now it's time to disconnect the nitrogen gas cylinder from the analyzer. But don't rush this step either. Make sure to do it slowly to prevent any sudden influx of air into the analyzer. And there you have it. That's the zero calibration process in a nutshell. It might seem a bit daunting at first, but with practice, it'll become second nature. Once you've completed the zero calibration, you're halfway there. Next comes the span calibration. Now that we've zeroed our analyzer, it's time to perform a span calibration. Span calibration is the second part of the calibration process where we adjust the analyzer to the correct oxygen concentration. This is done using a known gas mixture. Typically, this known gas mixture will have a higher concentration of oxygen than ambient air. Let's walk through how to do it. First, Connect your known gas mixture to the analyzer. Then you'll want to open the valve on the gas mixture, allowing the gas to flow into the analyzer. It's important to let the gas flow for a few minutes before proceeding to the next step. This ensures that any ambient air within the analyzer is replaced by the known gas mixture. Next, we'll adjust the span setting on the analyzer. On most models, you'll find a knob or a digital interface for this. Slowly turn the knob or adjust the setting until the display on the analyzer matches the oxygen concentration of your known gas mixture. Remember, patience is key here. You want to make sure you're allowing enough time for the analyzer to respond to the changes you're making. If you adjust too quickly, you could overshoot your target and have to start over. Once the display matches the known concentration, you've successfully completed the span calibration make sure to close the valve on your gas mixture and you're ready to move on to the next step and that's it you've successfully calibrated your oxygen analyzer calibrating an oxygen analyzer may seem daunting but with these steps it's a breeze we began with understanding the calibration process followed by a detailed step-by-step -step guide from preparing the analyzer, setting the zero and span points to finally verifying the calibration each step plays a crucial role Regular calibration is vital for accurate readings, ensuring the reliability of your oxygen analyzer. Remember, a well-calibrated oxygen analyzer is key to accurate and reliable measurements. Happy calibrating!